So what is Bitcoin mining? There are some common misconceptions about Bitcoin mining and for most people who are new to Bitcoin, it's a bit of a strange, weird concept. So it, uh, it bears clarifying. Essentially, in the most basic of terms, Bitcoin mining is the processing of transactions. So a bank spends billions of dollars every year in infrastructure to process their transactions. And that's why they charge you fees. With Bitcoin, it's the miners who have to do the processing of transactions. And it's the miners, therefore, that receive a small reward for that work. Now, the transactions are processed in 10 minute blocks and they are called blocks. For every block, there is a small reward and there are also fees that are given to the miners in each block. Now, it's not a magic creation process of just magically tapping out new bitcoins out of the, the ether. There's a lot of hard work that goes into processing those transactions and verifying the ownership of, of bitcoins from their source and to their destination. So on average, every 10 minutes, a block is created. And when that, within that block, there can be any number of transactions, uh, theoretically, although there is currently a, a limit placed on that. Um, to create a block on average costs about $1,000 worth of electricity and probably another $1,000 or so worth of uh, hardware. So when you hear people uh, talking about making uh, making money by mining Bitcoin, they're also actually spending a lot of money to mine those Bitcoins. There is a secondary purpose of Bitcoin mining, and that is the release of new funds to within the Bitcoin economy. So a bank or a central bank or government traditionally will just print new money, and that will be distributed through the central bank. Uh, Whereas with Bitcoin, because it's decentralized and it's not controlled by anyone, there's no central authority, there has to be a way of releasing new wealth. If, for example, all of the new wealth was created on day one, then the person who created the currency would own all of the wealth and there'd be no fair way to distribute that. So mining is a, a way for that to be distributed fairly. And that's why it's so expensive for people to be mining these blocks now. There is a lot of, of time and effort that goes into it and the rewards are diminishing. So just recently, last year in December, uh, so December 2012, the reward per block dropped from 50 Bitcoins to 25 Bitcoins. In 2017, that number will drop again to 12.5 Bitcoins per block. There's also, of course, a small number of transaction fees that uh, are distributed with each block, um, but that number can vary greatly. Another key purpose of Bitcoin mining is to secure the Bitcoin network. So the mining process will process transactions uh, from their source and verify their original ownership to their destination and uh, confirm that, um, that ongoing ownership of those coins. It uh, prevents double spending. So one person can only spend a coin once, they can't spend it twice. And also the more mining power that's out there, the less likely it is that someone can control the Bitcoin network by coming up with more power than everyone else combined. So it plays a very important part. Now it's estimated that within 12 months to mine a single block will cost about $10,000 in electricity costs. So you're talking about mining 25 Bitcoins for in excess of $10,000 in electricity alone and countless dollars in hardware. I mean, the hardware is extremely expensive. So to summarize, Bitcoin mining serves a few very important purposes. The first is to process transactions. The second is to fairly distribute new wealth. And the third is to secure the network. Now on the news, you'll hear people talking about the solving of complex mathematical equations and that kind of thing. And that is the basis behind the way that Bitcoin mining works. However, the purpose is not to solve mathematical problems or to, to magic Bitcoins out of the ether. The purpose is to process transactions, to secure the network and to fairly distribute new Bitcoin wealth. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. We'll be talking about more Bitcoin topics as well as other cryptocurrencies on this channel. So press the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. Also, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll try my best to get back to you. Duh.